Township Kroger. Yeah, an officer involved shooting sent a suspect and an innocent bystander to the hospital last night. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes live with what we know so far on this. Todd, just hearing a little bit more, but also still a lot of questions. A lot of questions, Kelly and Stephen, no question about that. We do know two people are hospitalized after being hit by bullets at around 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. As you indicated, police have identified one of those uh, persons who was shot as the suspect in this case. The other person who was hit is being called a bystander. Police have not released their names at this point. Uh, let's unpack what happened here in this uh, busy, uh, at this busy Kroger store off Springdale Road, again around 4 o'clock yesterday. Corian police saying that officers approached the armed suspect who was outside the store when that man pointed a gun at those officers. We're told the suspect then ran inside the store and began firing at police before he was then shot by an officer. It's not clear yet who fired the shot that hit uh, that suspect or the bystander. Both the suspect and bystander are expected to survive. Now, I've had a chance to listen to 911 calls, and it really reveals just how panicked store workers and shoppers were during the chaos. 911, what's location of your emergency? Yeah, there's a shooting at Kroger's on Colorado Avenue. On yes, we already have this in. We have officers in route already. They should be officers on scene, okay? 911, what is the location of your emergency? <laughs> have you been shot? No. Yes, we came outside, but I'm afraid to go up front to the car. I don't know. Should we stay back by the bush? Yeah, it just was a lot of confusion in the immediate aftermath of what transpired. I, I talked to a Kroger worker uh, yesterday afternoon, shortly after all this had happened, and she was finally able to kind of leave the scene after being, you know, interviewed by police and having conversations with investigators. And she said she looked down on the ground and saw a man with a gun pointed out from his hands, and then she heard what sounded like firecrackers. It turns out it was at least uh, 10 shots in her mind. One of the 911 callers that I listened to a minute ago said he thought it was 40 shots. So a lot happening. That woman you just heard from in the 911 call, she was advised to stay wherever she felt safe. Uh, she was with a child saying, it's, a, it's okay, baby. So you can just imagine how terrified a lot of people were. But everything under control now. It appears this Kroger store should be opening fairly soon this afternoon. For now, reporting live in Colerain, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Yes, a lot to check in on there, and we will have more this afternoon. Let's talk.